Listen up. You click this video because you are sick and tired of generic character advice. You want to create a character so epic that you will have bards writing sonnets about it. So let's do some research. Yeah, this sucks. I never heard anyone bring this up. But don't you worry. I'm going to help you out here. Let's be real. Most D&D guides have boring character questions like what's your eye color or what's your uncle's name or do you have a criminal background? Obviously, have you played D&D? We just murder people for fun. But guess what? 90% of that stuff disappears faster than a goblin's fart in a dust storm. It's hard to roleplay that when your brain's doing a caffeine fueled tap dance on four hours of sleep. Line. Line! But with this video, I'm going to help you answer the question of how can I create an epic D&D character with only using a sticky note? So let's take the sticky note, or maybe two based on your shit handwriting, like yours truly, and let's grab a pen instead of a pencil for this permanent life-changing advice, obviously. So by using these, we're gonna be able to create a character so awesome that it'll outshine that 30 page character and backstory your friend made, which is a total anime fan fiction ripoff of Inuyasha. Yeah, deep cut right there. Also, you'll have a focused reminder on how your character will act 100% of the time. Hey there everybody, this is AJ and welcome to First Time DM. So you got your sticky note, step one, write down flaw. You want to embrace your flaw. Most importantly, you want a flaw that comes out at the table. I'm going to say it again, this crazy advice. You want a flaw that will come out at the table. If your character is scared of water, but the entire campaign is set in Avernus with literal fiery boys, um, yeah didn't really think that through. Make sure you bring up this flaw to your DM to make sure that it can come into the game and come into the setting. Remember, flaws are conflict magnets. They are the spicy salsa to your narrative burrito. But don't make a debilitating flaw, one that'll ruin the fun for your other players. Instead of being a kleptomaniac thief, you could be a rogue which has two backpacks brimming with trinkets that are absolutely worthless. Or avoid the cleric that is so holier than thou. Instead, have a cleric that's way too okay with death, that keeps on talking to your characters about what they're gonna do with their bones after they die. And finally, just remember, you don't have to overcome your flaw at the table, but you have to run into it head on. Next, we're going to be talking about a short-term goal and a medium-term goal. A short-term goal is going to give your character an immediate need to be able to be in the situation that they're in. This sets them up to meeting the party in whatever way you want. Now this doesn't need to be the immediate quest hook or a grand adventure, just something to get them rolling. Short-term goals should be achievable within um, maybe five sessions or so. Think something like uh, finding the perfect wizard hat, or winning a bar brawl, or yes, getting a pet cat. So immediately once people start talking about, oh, maybe let's take a stop in Baldur's Gate, you can say, oh yeah, Cat Haven, let's go there. So now that you're done with your short-term goal, think about your medium-term goal. A medium-term goal should intertwine with the narrative tapestry. It could be more complex compared to your short-term goal, but still should be accomplishable. Don't worry, it's way easier than it sounds. It's somewhere in between getting a pet cat and taking over the world. Some examples could include raising enough money for starting up an orphanage, or becoming a famous author retelling your escapades and adventures and maybe not so glorious outcomes.
But wait, dummy, didn't you forget a long-term goal? Well, your long-term goal should be an embodiment or driving factor of your character. And it needs to be one that's going to be almost impossible to accomplish. So how in the fuck are you going to know about this before you even play them? This will develop as you play your character, as they interact with the party and interact with the world around them. In the last point, the coup de grace, the chef's kiss, what do I want to get out of the character? So go ahead, ask yourself this super easy question to make sure that your first two goals are going to be fun for you. This might seem stupid simple, but it'll make sure that your character is headed in the right direction. If you just got done playing a genius wizard, but now you want to play an absolute dummy barbarian who runs into shit head on, well, make sure your goals are a little bit dumber aligned. Now finally, take that sticky note and put it all over. Put it on your character sheet, put it on your computer screen, put it on your fridge, put it on your microwave, put it on your dog. Oh, well, maybe PETA don't come after me for that one. Final piece of advice, don't fuck it up. Let the rest come through at the table. You're not going to be an expert at what your character is going to do, but you're gonna have a clear reminder every step of the way. Embrace the unexpected, let the flaws flare, and as you hit that short-term goal, create a new one. As you hit your medium-term one, create a new one. Maybe you overcome your flaw. Regardless, thanks for tuning in everybody. This has been AJ with First Time DM.